begin our dialogue today, it's my honor to introduce the president of Art Center College of Design, Lauren Buckman. Thank you, and let me add my uh, word of welcome. Um, it's uh, wonderful to be here, and I, I just want to spend a few minutes this morning contextualizing um, the college, uh, some of the philosophy of education that we hold about educating artists and designers, and to give you a sense of the uh, approach to learning that we take that hopefully will weave its way into our dialogue today. We are an 87-year-old institution, and the figure there in the eyeglasses is a man by the name of Tink Adams. He's the founder of Art Center and built it in downtown LA in 1930. He was an advertising man, and he began the school because he felt that he wanted to work with people and hire people who understood professionalism and understood practical application of ideas who were oriented toward making and doing and not some kind of isolated intellectual endeavor. And you will see by our statistics 87 years later, the importance of our professional training, the placement of our students in the professional world, not, I want to insist, at the expense of a broad education because we believe that's very important, but a way of educating the whole person that leads them into the professional world with intellectual sophistication, empathy, human-oriented thinking, and great skill at the practice that they conduct. We are, as we say, a conservatory approach. We do a deep dive into a discipline. When you come to Art Center as a student, you go deep into the area that is your passion and where you have demonstrated talent and commitment and the kind of chops that we believe will allow you to succeed in the future. You can see, too, uh, that we are a uh, partner with industry in significant ways, and I will talk about that in a few minutes, and that the combination of a design education and a business education is also another element of the experience that many of our students have, and we have partnerships with INSEAD and with locally the Drucker School of Business with our Grad ID program that allows our students to gain the kind of sophistication and business practice that might complement their work as designers and in design strategy. We have 11 undergraduate programs and seven graduate departments. We are a school of 2,000 students, uh, 1,800 of which are undergraduates in those 11 majors, and we have 200 students in the seven grad programs combined. I mentioned the importance of partnerships Art Center is distinguished in its work with students, in its relationship with industry. This has been part of its history, which I will show you in a moment. But what I want to emphasize here most importantly is that this is not what we would call in the United States an ivory tower, a college that is separated from industry, but we understand that industry has to be integrated in the fullest possible way so that our students are learning what is current. So our students are engaging in specific kinds of projects that are meaningful for today and that we encourage our students beyond that to reach for a future and for tomorrow and to engage with industry in that conversation. And so we will do a number of sponsor projects with some of the examples of the companies that you see here. This began with General Electric back in 1960. It was the first sponsored project, and that whole philosophy took over, and Art Center is well regarded for making sure that that kind of industry relationship continues and that it is pertinent. So here you see uh, sponsored projects with, uh, in this case, Jaguar, Land Rover, and Intel that we have done more recently, and we keep um, ensuring that our students are involved in these kinds of conversations with industry and that that is an essential part of their education. Another really interesting piece of what we do 
is in a program called Design Matters. Art Center, about 15 years ago, became an NGO, a non-government organization, through the United Nations. And we did that because it allowed us to partner with other NGOs and nonprofit organizations around the world so that we could go into various communities on a global level with the idea of social impact design. So in addition to the kind of work that one might do with industry in a sponsored project, we then take that very idea of what design thinking is and really ask the question, what can the creative mind do for the world in making it a better place, helping out communities in need, working with real problems that allow us to get underneath them and find solutions on that community level. Just as design is significant for commerce, so too it's significant for its capacity to make the world a better place. And Design Matters has been an amazingly successful enterprise for us. Our students have worked both locally in the Southern California and Los Angeles area, and they've also gone around the world visiting communities. And it's important to point out to you that our students do this work not from a privileged perch in Pasadena, California, but in the communities themselves, engaged there in real time with people and doing the work with an incredible gratitude that comes from these communities for students who have helped them solve some kind of problem. And it becomes an enormously meaningful part of their education. This is just one example of mobile health clinics for remote communities in Kenya. And what's interesting here is that the expense of getting to these remote communities to bring immunization and bring medicines was very, very difficult. Very expensive by helicopter or even by a four-wheel drive. And really, the camel was the way to get there. And of course, camels carrying medicine in the hot sun is not a good strategy and obviously would, the medicines would spoil in the heat. And our students with pr some Princeton engineers invented this wonderful solar-powered saddle that allowed them to be successful in their endeavors to get the immunizations and medicines to that community. Solar-powered pieces like this are all over the place, but this, for this particular context and at this particular time, was an amazing accomplishment. There are all kinds of others that have safe water orientation for various parts in South America. There are ways in which we've worked with kids and burn clinics it's an extensive and important program, and it shows how the creative imagination can make a difference in the world. For all of you who are passionate about that, the world clamors not only for what you can bring to solutions in technological or commercial venues, but also making a difference in communities for real people. I wanted just to focus on three important programs that we've talked about. Uh, in the last couple of days, our transportation program is distinguished um, in the world. Um, there is a statistic that 50% of all cars in the world are designed by Art Center graduates, though understanding where China is going now with uh, car design, I'm sure those stats will change. But here you are, we are continuing with that work not only in automobile design, but really anticipating what the future might bring, both in terms of the automobile, what the experience is, what autonomous automobiles are going to be, um, how we can become a kind of research center for really future thinking that provides both research and development, as well as a future-oriented way of looking at the world for great education. Entertainment design, another area that we focused on yesterday, um, both in concept animation, and our students have been enormously successful. We can talk about uh, any number of alums who have gone out into the world and made a difference. Demand for that, especially in the Los Angeles area, where the entertainment design flourishes and where there is the center of in the industry in very many ways, this has been an enormously important program for Art Center as well. 
And then I wanted also to do a shout out to our graduate industrial design program led by and chaired by Andy Ogden, also an alum, who has created a distinguished program, again, really focusing on challenging students to understand the significance of design on both the commercial and social level and integrating business practices and business strategy that has great significance and great resonance. And we will be hearing from um, him a little bit later, um, but also to understand the quality of the work and the quality of some of the graduates, uh, a couple of whom you're gonna hear from of this particular program that you're gonna hear from later today. We are, quite frankly, incredibly proud of our alumni. Our alumni are the evidence of the quality of the education that we offer. And there you have in that far corner Neville Page who came out of our entertainment design program. And those are an example of one of the creatures he designed for the film Avatar. He was the chief creature designer for that film. He also worked at Star Trek. Diana Thader is a uh, faculty in our grad art program. Uh, this is from an exhibition at LACMA, The Sympathetic Imagination, which was the largest monographic exhibition dedicated to a female artist in the museum's history. The uh, incredible Matthew Ralston here with uh, photographs of Bob Dylan and Jodie Foster. His work, distinguished, famous. He also teaches at Art Center, um, and we are deeply proud of his work. And then, of course, I thought you would enjoy seeing Michael Bay uh, and Transformers. He, too, is with all his work. We are proud to call him a graduate of Art Center College of Design. Just a moment before I close to just say one word about why we're here, why we're in China, why that's important. I think it's significant to us for reasons of the college understanding what is happening right now in China, what these emerging markets are about, how design can play a significant role in it, for us to learn how we might be able to contribute, but also what we might be able to learn from this incredibly exciting moment in this country. On the other hand, we bring a tradition, as you've seen, of 87 years of distinguished design education. And we understand something about the importance of design and have given it a great deal of thought and generations of designers have come through this college in ways that are very important. And we are here thinking that maybe we can offer some of our thinking about what design is, how we want to approach it, how we want to think about it, and how it might contribute to this moment. But we do that with great care. And we do that with knowing that ultimately, the Chinese people need to integrate and make sense of it for this culture and for this country at this particular moment in time. No pretensions from our part that it needs to be the same that it will always be a re reproduction of something that we've understood from our experience in the United States. But the exciting piece is how to take the fundamental principles that we're talking about and integrate them in a way, drawing on the richness of the culture of this country and seeing where it might go. I want to uh, close by talking about the, a core philosophy of who we are that in order to know, in order to understand, you need to make. It goes back to that fundamental of Tink Adams of applied work of project-based learning. We understand that the knowing and the understanding can only come from the actual engagement, the making. Not having some sort of idea or vision out there against which you execute some kind of activity, but knowing that in the activity itself, in the work itself, in the design itself, are discoveries and revelations that you could have never anticipated beforehand. And that's fundamental to an art center education. This is our mission statement, learn to create, influence, change. It's different, it's poetic, it's minimalistic, but you can play with the language in English. I don't know how it translates in China, but you can learn to change you can create to influence, you can learn to influence, but most importantly and significantly for this event today, we want to create change and we want to understand the significance of what that change can be.
Thank you for your attention. Thank you for listening. Welcome one and all. Art Center is delighted to be here. Thank you.